Hey guys, I was just watching a video from Martin Brodell, and he's talking about uh, how it was announced today that a scientist said something about uh, San Andreas Fault, like that movie uh, San Andreas with the Rock, which is real stupid, by the way. Anyway, but that's going to go one of these days. It's overdue and all this. Kind of interesting timing, you know. The day after Trump gets the nomination, or pretty much the nomination, he's going to get it. And uh, everybody else dropped out. But they, I guess they still got to go through the motions. But And he pointed out, Mr. Brodell, something about HARP. And I made videos on that, too. I was like a look into it. Supposedly, it's like a powerful weather-type weapon. It could cause uh, earthquakes, hence tsunamis, you know, rain. I made a video... Uh, it was interesting how, I think it was last year, it was last year or two years ago, it was like the coldest winter of all time in like New York. It was like snowing or icy, icy, icy cold every freaking day. The day they had the Super Bowl, it was like a balmy 55 degrees. Then it went right back to being fucking uh, freezing again. It was kind of interesting. It, was, it, was, uh, it wasn't a dome stadium. So it was kind of interesting how the one day they had the Super Bowl, the weather was so fucking nice. And there's videos you can see on... Uh, YouTube. It's a famous, I think he's Japanese scientist, and he's talking about the idea of a weather machine, how it could be used for things like that. You know, sporting events, this and that. But anyway, it just got me thinking. You know, I'm a paranoid fucking conspiracy nut to begin with, and I think they're going to try to kill Trump. Uh, other guys, Christopher Green talks about it. I've been saying it for months now. They, they got to kill him. They do not want him as president. And you're going to see all these idiots rally around him now, but it's all like fucking bullshit. It's like they know he's gonna, he's got to go. they got to take him out. They don't want him. But I, I was always saying it's going to be like, El Ch they'll blame El Chapo, you know, when he goes to California, Trump. Maybe they'll set up some patsy Mexican to shoot Trump or blow up a bomb. Then they'll blame El Chapo and they'll point out, eh, when El Chapo was a fugitive, he made it into America twice, maybe when he was dead, yeah, yeah, he was making the plans, yeah, it was El Chapo, El Chapo did it, right, I was always going along with those, you know, that way of doing it, a gun, or a bomb or something, but what if, he got me thinking, Mr. Brodell, about Harp, and now all of a sudden, the day after Trump gets the nomination, they're talking about this fucking earthquake shit's gonna happen, like, soon, you know, we're overdue, what if Trump's in California, and what if Harp is real, a lot of ifs, and he's someplace, and say they know he's going to be in a building at a certain time. Not even when he's making a speech or nothing. All right, he's going to be in the hotel tonight sleeping. Let's, when he's in there, they'll weaken the foundation of the building somehow. We'll do something. And then when the earthquake starts because of the machine, then he gets killed in the fucking earthquake. And like, you know, thousands of other people too. And then, of course, the earthquake will cause massive devastation, you know. It's the stuff of conspiracy. They can never come out, you know, come on. The average person, even if they saw this video, Alex Jones talking about it, Mr. Brodell, uh, Christopher Green, if every single person was talking about Harp, the American people still wouldn't fucking believe it. they just say these conspiracy fucking retards. You know what I'm saying? They don't even believe in such. They don't even believe, like, such tech, you know, uh, technology exists. But it, it really does. Okay. So just think about that for a second. Trump's in California. They used the hot machine to fucking devastate an area. Blame it on the fucking earthquake. And Trump's taken care of, you know. I guess they won't build a wall, you know. That'll stop the wall, I guess, if Trump's dead, right? It'll stop a lot of things.